Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2. Now we had been expecting this update to actually be released to the public as soon as this Monday. That should have been December the 2nd, but it looks like that actually won't happen. Well, currently we're on the fourth beta and we have been expecting Apple to actually release the RC version this week. Taking a look at the past releases, at the history of how Apple does things and how they release updates, that RC version should have been released this week. But very strangely, Apple didn't release that and now we are on the two week cycle from the last beta to the RC version. But we're going to talk all about the dates and the release dates for the RC and the public release in a few minutes here. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some more features that we have been able to discover on the latest beta of iOS 18.2. Now, first of all, we're heading to the Photos app. Now, in the Photos app on iOS 18.2, Apple has made a ton of changes, a ton of adjustments, which are actually really cool and very useful, like this one right here, where you can go back with that arrow and you will have the title of the, of the folder that you're in right there in the center. That's pretty cool. But here we have another one here for the video. When you're playing a video, now when the video finishes, it won't actually stop there, but it will continue looping which is really cool but what we're talking about here and here's the new feature that we have discovered is that now when you're using the video scrubber on the photos app on our on your ios 18.2 device you will notice right here that we also have milliseconds it used to be minutes and seconds just like that right there but now the left side also shows you the milliseconds while scrubbing through your video and as you probably know with ios 18 we get a new feature here under the motion settings so if you go to motion you will have show car motion cues and you can enable it right here now what's really cool with iOS 18.2 is that now this feature will be available on the dynamic island as well so you can see right there once I enabled it it showed it on the dynamic island but of course if you're using this then it will display properly there so you can tap to stop it or to invoke it directly from there not just that it will also show on the lock screen of your device of course as a live activity and if you use the fitness app and you care about the achievements of the awards that you get right here, you will have a new one with the latest update of iOS 18.2. Head on to your awards right there and you will have here close all rings. So 500 times to close all the rings to get this award, which is actually pretty cool. And you can see I'm at 474 right there, which is pretty awesome a few more and i will get this award so if you just care about it you will find this new award under the fitness app one of the cool new features that we have been expecting to get with the new ios 18.2 is the battery charge time this should show up on the lock screen of your device and will tell you how much time you have left until your iphone is fully charged at 100 percent or charged to the limit that you might have set on the battery settings of your device. Now, this feature has been discovered on the code of iOS 18.2. It is called battery intelligence or something like that, but it's still not here. With the latest update of iOS 18.2, this feature is nowhere to be found. Maybe it will be here with the RC version, but I truly doubt it. I don't think that will happen because it's quite a big feature and I don't really think that Apple would leave this for the end for the RC version. But most likely this will be a feature that will be released to iOS 18 in the next updates, most likely part of the new iOS 18.3, which should go on beta right after the release of iOS 18.2 to the public. Now, before we talk about releases for the RC version and the public version as well, let's quickly take a look at the battery of iOS 18.2. So here we have the last 10 days. This is on iOS 18.2. Most of them will be, of course, on the latest beta. So yesterday, you can see right here a great performance on battery. We're at about 90% battery, 11 hours, 27 minutes. That's just great. And right here, we're at about 110% battery, 8 hours, 43 minutes. And then right here, again, about 95% battery, 10 hours, 21 minutes. 
actually iOS 18.2 is working quite good and performing quite good when it comes to battery life. In my opinion, it's actually quite good. And you can see right here, the battery health is currently at 91% on this device. So the performance, in my opinion, is actually quite solid. And not just the battery, iOS 18.2 also performs really good when it comes to Geekbench 6. This is a score that I got with Geekbench 6. This is the best score that I have gotten on this update. So you can see right there, the single core score is at 2,952, while the multi-core score will be at 7,383. This is on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So actually a great, great performance on points here by iOS 18.2 and also on everyday use, you will notice that it's actually very, very stable and very rarely you will encounter any glitches or like stuff like that if you ever actually do. And when you compare it right here with iOS 18.1, you can notice that the increase is actually quite good, especially on the multi-core score. So the single core score is about the same. The multi-core score increase here is about 300 points. So that's a huge increase from one version of iOS 18.2 to another. And now that we're done with all the details regarding the latest update of iOS 18.2, let's quickly talk here about release dates, what happened, and of course, what to expect in the near future. So as of now, we have been expecting Apple to release the RC version of iOS 18.2. That should have happened right here on November the 25th, or the 26th, a week of course after the release of the last beta. And then we have been expecting actually Apple to release the iOS 18.2 to the public on December the 2nd. But that didn't happen, so now we have a new schedule. There might be a chance that Apple also releases the RC version today. I highly doubt it, probably won't happen, but it could. But if that doesn't happen, of course, then the December the 2nd should be the day that Apple releases the RC version to the devs and, of course, public testers of iOS 18.2 before they move on and release iOS 18.2 to the public. And that should happen December the 9th. That's actually a day that we highly expect Apple to release iOS 18.2 to the public because we also have here something that does connect with it. So the reason I believe the 9th will be the day that Apple releases iOS 18.2 to the public is this right here. Now, this report comes from Mac Rumors. So they believe that Apple is planning to release iOS 18.2 on Monday, December the 9th. And that's based on a recent notice that the British carrier provider EE has sent to its customer. So they're basically continue, discontinuing a feature on the iPhone and that will start happening December the 9th. So there it is. So we're expecting actually Apple to release iOS 18.2 December the 9th to the public. So what will happen after that? Well, it might happen that we also get the first beta of iOS 18.3. If that happens, it will most likely happen the same week as the release of iOS 18.2. Usually the last few years, Apple has done this. When they release a big update a day or two days away from the release, they release a new beta. So I wouldn't be surprised if I see Apple release the first beta of iOS 18.3 somewhere right here on December the 10th or the 11th, of course, then continuing with the next betas probably in January 2025. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one.